Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is, of course, Catman Joe, and welcome back, everybody, to another brand new video, guys. Today, of course, we are back on some, well, I guess, Terraria, actually, for the first time ever on the channel. And today, we're going to be covering a new update that just came out today for Terraria, the 1.20 update. Now, if you guys don't know, this is actually officially called the 1.20 on PlayStation. However, if you're on, of course, or if you were on a different, obviously, console, uh, or obviously on PC, it is the 1.4, or it's the 1.4.0.3. It's really weird, you know, that it's like the Minecraft, obviously updates they have them very strangely titled that i don't honestly fully get it but the actual patch just came out today of course and there was quite a few actual new hot fixes now officially there wasn't actually that many i mean if we check right now obviously if you guys look on the screen this was all we got to see if you check obviously of course the update history for the actual game terraria you will see this is apparently all that they updated but there was actually a lot more stuff going on behind the scenes now there was an article released that's why this video came out so late because i was trying to wait for the article pop up to tell me exactly what was fully changed and i'm not exactly 100 percent sure if all this was changed for Terraria on the PlayStation 4 or if it was kind of more like a universal hot patch. So yeah. Now it, apparently this is what it says right here of course. Uh, has released a Terraria update 1.20 May 21st patch or what the studio calls a hot fix obviously like on GTA of course however with this hot fix it isn't something that can be done just by itself. You must obviously update to get it and it's an actual patch and uh, apparently there was actually quite a few changes. So going over the actual first or the initial kind of obviously main part which is the changes and additions obviously that have been added and changed. It said removed bad torch luck increased prismatic uh, what's it lace wing spawn rate significantly uh what's it, let me see you here sorry guys i'm the zoom in because there's so much here honestly there's quite a few angry dandelions now have a chance to drop day bloom uh bestie now only takes one kill to max best bestially uh progress like other main bosses uh zenith now requires beekeeping and its recipe uh i don't know how to say this now it's part of something gonna attempt it is now somewhat slower to grow but twice as fast to bloom uh Water Lily grows faster in the rain. Blink Root grows faster underground. Fire Blossom or oh, in the underworld or yeah, in the underworld. Sorry, uh, and then it goes on from underneath here. Of course, more uh, more Blink or Blink Blink. I'm sorry, guys. More Blink Roots appear during World Gen, and all herbs can potentially grow during World Gen as well. Owls Hoot or Owls now Hoot less, which I think undoubtedly was probably one of the, the biggest changes. It was kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. I saw a couple of tweets on Twitter about this, and it seemed like a lot of people were very upset and very saddened to hear that owls or now hooting less i mean it was i don't think that was an additional thing that needed to get changed but okay whatever you say man whatever you say i did a large quantity of art assets uh, what's the art sorry art asset revisions mostly minor touch-ups but several with substantial changes uh most uh, sorry most notably the molten weapon and tools and that's of course got clean tomato i don't know exactly i'm in sale right there and sdmg tombstones now display with uh, what's a danger sense uh, potion sorry going down from here right now. Uh, dungeons, Guardian and Old Man will also be unlocked if you have a skeleton armor or have a skeleton unlocked, sorry now. In addition to the previous existing methods to ensure you can unlock them. Adding a config, of course I'm guessing there, setting called, and it's got right there, disable intense visual effects that you can now disable flashing during uh, thunderstorms can be expanded to include other mechanics upon feedback. Now that was the actual first obviously main thing right there guys. It was again, as I said, a hell of a lot of things changed. I'm not too sure if a lot of this was done obviously just to the console editions i'm pretty sure it wasn't a, a vast majority of this seems like it was done obviously all over but yeah this was the changes and additions and moving down from there of course we've got the crash fixes and performance improvements which undoubtedly probably one of the most important things when it comes to something like this now it says fixed an issue that caused several world gen problems and some crashes uh, some crashes for users with turkish language pcs and possible uh, some other languages as well and obviously this is more directed towards obviously pc uh, users with file permissions crashes should now get an up updated error message giving more instructions on the matter file permission information or issues sorry stem from terraria not being allowed to be uh, not being allowed by the pc to make and modify save files usually causing crashes when saving or making characters slash worlds going down from there some more it says fix not getting a proper sound installation not actually disabling sounds or, or sound sorry singular this should uh, fix or this uh, yeah this should fix some sound installation crashes and then goes on from there of course again added some 
some optimization to mannequins or mannequins, sorry, and hat racks to decrease their performance toll. Going from there again, once more, it says added some protection against crashing while taking very large camera mode snapshots, reduce liquid movement restrictions and multiplayer, which should translate to more liquid being allowed to move in servers at once. Improved how multiplayer servers handle liquid synxing or it's you know synchron synchronizing basically. Uh, added new multiplayer NPC smoothing code, adjusting by of course, and it's got the actual code there, setting named multiplayer NPS or NPC smoothing range, and of course it just goes on from there again and I'm telling you some more about it. Uh, team name, uh, team name, sorry, plates no longer show health, but at full health to improve MP performance. Added and again the extra command again. Uh, team name does uh, plate distance uh, that lets you reduce at uh, which team. Let me see right here, sorry. Oh, uh, which team? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh my God. Which team names are drawn with the default being 2000? Again, there's honestly, folks, a lot of things are being on this page right now. Now going on to the third thing, uh, the third or third thing, sorry, which is of course bug fixes. This one is a huge one. Obviously, crash fixes and performances are great, and it's really important as well, obviously. But bug fixes here, the the vast majority of what they've done with this, obviously, of course, this hot patch or this hot fix has been bug fixes. So. Uh, Gonna tell, I'm gonna take a breath for this one. Fixed an issue where the world menu seed button was still hidden. Fixed an issue where sometimes players would get an extremely long death timer. The maximum should now be limited to 30 seconds. This should retroactively fix characters with an extremely high death timer. Fixed certain users not having left click assigned to their mouses in the main menu while loading 1.14 or 1.4, sorry. And obviously, of course, this is towards PC. Fixed an issue where miners or yeah, well, yeah, sorry, minions, sorry, minions, not miners. Minions would be summoned at an uh, inverted position when in reverse gravity. Fixed an issue where the, or when, uh, yeah, where, sorry, uh, the summoning lock on icon would at, uh, would at, and would at, and, sorry, inverted, put, uh, was the position in reverse gravity. And again, there's a lot here, folks, honestly. Fixed an issue where hollow trees or uh, on meowed, or meowed, sorry, hollow grass would drop normal wood. Fixed an issue where coin splitters or coin sparkles weren't appearing. Fixed an issue where gold seahorses were caught as seahorse cages. Uh, fixed an issue where goblins would get stuck in doors and sink into the floor. Fixed an outline issue on jungle plants. Uh, fixed chain or fixed flail chains uh, during our drawing, sorry, incorrectly while on some mounts. I, I do apologize, may I just add here right now for like all this like misreading and all, but there, there really is a lot. Like, <laughs> like I GG to them for like fixing all this, man. But it's like, this is this is a lot to cover, obviously, of course. Obviously, this isn't just for PlayStation 4, though. It's like everyone, you know what I mean? Uh, fixed an issue where uh, wearing moon leg or moon lorg. Uh, Moon Lord legs and frog legs at the same time would give you no legs at all. Fix an issue where you could use the step tool or the step stool while grapple. Fix, uh, fix an issue where stylist only hairs were in, uh, in, uh, inadvertently sorry, available by randomizing your character. Fix an issue where NPCs were affected by disliking their neighbors more than hating their neighbors. Fix an issue where you could summon multiple queen slimes. Fix an issue where texture packs would not, uh, would not work for titles or tiles without a game restart. Fix some visual issues or visual effects affecting on or at cat sorry affecting uh, acting on usually when time is sped up with journey mode slash sleep slash sundials and of course obviously titanium set bonus no longer triggers off uh, off of uh, target dummies I, I mean guys it's ridiculous how much it is right here i've got to be honest fix a crash when a server tries to generate certain seeds via server config text uh, fix an issue where having pick up or pick up text off and using a so uh, a sonar a sonar potion would delete the item you get fix obsidian sinks only using or obsidian sinks using only obsidian instead of hailstone or hellstone sorry my apologies there uh, was a fixed server config text of course world path being ignored during auto create fixed hooks and mounts being usable after Guys, I'm running out of air reading this, Jesus Christ. After medium core death, fixed trident movement impacting minecarts, uh, fixed angle, angler quests, fishing icon disappearing when a player dies, fixed an issue where key of light slash night spawned minics or mimics uh, left behind phantom ghost chest tiles, fixed besties loot having half the, inst uh, half the intended drop chances, uh, fixed death meter displaying incorrect height biome when using camera moving items, uh, cool whip snowflake 
Snowflake no, should no longer attack crit uh, critters, uh, target dummies, fix Cool Whip Snowflake not, disp uh, not despawning when a player dies or quits. Uh, fixed Equisite, uh, I, I can't read this guys, I'm honest, I'm gonna lie, it's too late. Uh, fed buff not giving rand, uh, range damage. Fixed Ocean Critters spawning in deep caves below the ocean. Fixed lamb, uh, Lava Lamps being unable to be placed on tables. Fixed Minor m Monitor, m Monitor, Monitor, I can't, Minotaur, I, I think it's Minotaur, I can't, my apologies. Not animating properly while flying. And finally, fix some item spelling, uh, spelling concerns and grammat <laughs> grammatical, oh my god, issues with NPC happiness text. I, I really could use that last fix myself, guys. There is a lot. There is a lot in the 1.14, of course, obviously. The 1.14.0.3 or the 1.20, obviously, of course, patch that has been patched. And uh, much respect, obviously, of course, the Terraria devs. Like, that is an insane amount. Um, but yeah, guys, I just saw me this video. It's my first ever Terraria video, so please do cut me some slack, guys. If you enjoy it, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel as well, please be sure to subscribe. We are currently marching our way right now guys to 34,000 subscribers so every new sub is always appreciated and uh, my apologies for like reading that so poorly once again folks I, I do apologize just there is so much there and I already read over it like twice just to try and get ahead but it, it's just man it's hard to keep on top but yeah guys thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you guys are and uh, yeah I'll see you guys on the next video peace out